So what happens now? They're chatting together. This is close. Look at that. Yeah. Sam Power and Andrew Mackey in the corridor. There they are. The but coming together shot. <laughs> Simon Murphy from the Cats as well. And they need to get some form of paperwork into the AFL prior to 7.30 as well. Just a reminder, I suppose our viewers, of the, of the rules as best, they, as best we can. They need to have uh, had made correspondence and contact with the AFL to say the deal is imminent. And there is a uh, provision beyond 7.30, but it needs to have been uh, made noted in advance of that time. And then we now feel there's going to be a backlog of such negotiations going beyond the 7.30 period because... The whole Bailey Smith one is, is tying up a, a whole lot of others. At the very least, it was tying up the Caleb Daniel one. And then, Cal, have you got any news at all? I don't like going to you unprompted here, but the Jack McRae element of this deal as well, given he also was on the Western Bulldogs books as a contracted player, but one that was not going to be able to thrash, be thrashed out until Bailey Smith was sorted. Yeah, I, I think that if the Saints offer 45, it's more of a chance to get done, and that might be in the process of getting done now. Speaking of things that are very, very, very close, uh, James Peatling is set to be a crow, all but done. Just a little bit to go, but I think that one can just about be ticked off. And Andrew Mackey in with the AFL cow, so this one about to be signed off? Yep, yep. That would be the process. As we said, you can go in and, and manually do this now from, from a, a club point of view. Earlier in the day it's got to be done electronically, now you can do it manually so that's the way. Right, that's what's happening now and, and just again, we'll await confirmation but we are hearing it's a, a future first and a future second for Barris I'm hearing now. What, who, which Picks that they're the same deal that's to. been on the table for the last couple of days. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's without, without the future third going back. Yeah. We, we, we don't know whether it's Carlton's future first and future second or Hawthorne's. We'll, we'll soon find that out officially, but that's what we're just getting filtered through now. So thank you for passing that particular one on. And there's a big name that's still yet to be done. And, and at one stage of his career, he would have been bigger than the names we're talking about. His name's Luke Parker of uh, the Sydney Swans currently. He's still contracted for the Sydney Swans. Now, there's Stephen Silvani there with mm. Robbie Dorazio of Connor Sports Management. Now, Stephen Silvani would be going back in there, we'd think, Cal, for the Jack McRae deal. There would yep. be no other reason for him to be involved well, in that. With seven minutes left, there's now a lineup. Matt Kennedy as well. There's a lineup. So. Matt Kennedy as well. He's, he's involved in all this swing, so that's where the, the Bulldogs part of this through the Jack McRae situation can have a flow on effect. So these things have got to go in isolation, but they're very, very close. And mm. the Bailey Smith deal is very, very, very close. Uh, just on uh, the James Peatling deal, I understand the details are likely to see James Peatling and a future third and future fourth go to the Crows for a future second pick from Adelaide. Pretty good dealing from the Crows, I would have thought. Yeah, he's a good. I mean, he's a really an impressive player. Um, has had some big moments, some clutch moments. I think he's exactly what they need with some flexibility and some depth. Can play a variety of roles as these two clubs, the Bulldogs and Geelong, finally coming together to sort this one out. And we'd expect that information as to what eventually the Western Bulldogs have accepted for Bailey Smith will be, will be confirmed. I wouldn't think it's much more than 17, perhaps just a swap of some picks at the back end to satisfy them so they can have a little win. But yep. we're about to find up, out as we get a line-up at the AFL's <laughs> office with the Geelong in there, we've got the Saints in there, and we've now got the Western Bulldogs in there. So three clubs with six minutes to go, all um, along with the AFL waiting to file these deals. And further proof that the only thing that brings these clubs together is a deadline. That's it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's seven minutes away now, or actually less than seven minutes away now, and that's Andrew Mackey you've got on screen there now walking back to the, the Geelong Footy Club office. Having registered Cal, as you said, he's now required to do, just verbally, <laughs> where we're in. All right, and this deal is done. It's pick 17 and a, and a pick slide later on. There you go. Okay. Which we... <laughs> so the Bulldogs, can, the Bulldogs can say they got their little win. <laughs> <laughs> and Geelong can say we didn't have to put him through the draft, so it's co it is comical. It's, it's comical for the, yeah. the okay. Western Bulldogs to you got you got the actual I think, details. I think Jack McRae is going to get done for forty five. I'm pretty sure for pick forty five. So pick forty five of the St Kilda Footy Club, and I, I couldn't see any way that that wasn't going to be the number that was attached to that particular deal. That's uh, Nick Austin there, Cal shaking the hand of Sam Power. Now Nick Austin walking alongside um, Andrew Mackey. It might be unrelated, but the, the shake of hands there was uh, was significant. And then Riley Beveridge now waving the uh, the microphone. He's just requiring a camera. <laughs> He's got some news to tell us. Do you want to come up? Come, come, come over here, here, Ross. Yeah. Here we go. Jump, Jump in. on. <laughs> come over this way. Turn his microphone on. Jump in the middle. Or just, just talk. <laughs> 
Uh, pick 25 is the Caleb Daniel deal. So pick 25 goes to the Western Bulldogs for Caleb Daniel from North Melbourne. Jacob Constanti and Luke Parker are both North Melbourne players for pick 44. There you go. So everything that appeared <laughs> obvious to us on the outside for the best part of three weeks is now starting to materialise in the remaining so five minutes of uh, just don't believe trade anything. Period. Don't believe anything the Bulldogs tell you. At the start of trade period, oh, that we really rate these players. We're expecting big. We're not going to accept that. <laughs> They've accepted all of it for what they said they weren't going to. On the surface of it, as we're reading it without official confirmation, but yeah. on reports like. Daniel for 25, McRae for a pick in the 40s, and 17 for Bailey Smith with a couple of pick swaps. You have accepted what was on the table three weeks ago and probably all year, and uh, that's what you should have done. How, how busy is ago. that, so right? Marty Pasky's in there, the manager of Caleb Daniel, of course. Yep. Uh, and then Matt Kennedy will get done. The, the Bailey Smith deal is now done. And Nick Austin being in there too, Kel, would, would suggest that's the Matt Kennedy part of this brokering? Am I yep. right in surmising that? Yep. I, I can't imagine him being there, in there at this particular point in time for any other reason. Well, Brody Kemp's still been live, Kemp, but yep. uh, looking uh, more unlikely. Four minutes. Under four yep. minutes to go. So they're all starting to drop, and as we uh, had felt for the best part of uh, maybe six weeks, and certainly the, the for the full two and a half weeks of trade radio and the full week and a half of the trade period, that the Bailey Smith domino was going to need to fall for a a lot of these players to then also have their deals negotiated, and that's exactly now what has happened in the past uh, basically five minutes of the, the trade period of, of 2024. The, the brokering, the posturing, the chests being out, the poker being played, they've all folded in the end, and the deals that were on the table a long time ago have all been the, ultimately, effectively, the, the deals that have got these, uh, these contracts signed. Yep, and we'll go through them quickly uh, to rush through some of the details that we know. Uh, Bailey Smith, 17 and a pick slide. James Peatling, uh, that deal will get done using a future second round pick and getting a couple of picks back. Caleb Daniel, pick 25 will be involved in that as Riley Beveridge just reported. Luke Parker and Jake Constanti to be a part of that deal. Uh, pick 44 at the Swans. Uh, Jack McRae, pick 45, done to, uh, done to the St Kilda Footy Club. Uh, Xavier Halloran, not going anywhere. And a little bit more on Stringer now being done. For 53, reportedly, yep. Jake Stringer. Um, I mean, on the surface, pick 25 seems a big price to pay for Caleb Daniel, doesn't it? 25 it does, but that's what North had to do when they decided to target him. Mm. I mean, if you, you need to know what you've got to offer when you go down this path. And obviously they've got Jack Dowling across, they've got Luke Parker across, and they've now got Caleb Daniel across. And I agree. I mean, if you, if you want to line up 25 against the 17 that the Bulldogs get back for, for Bailey Smith, well, there's a massive mismatch there. But I uh, am a massive subscriber to you can only deal with what you've got. Yep. And sometimes what's in front of you is all you're going to get. And that's pretty much how those di particular deals have played out. Pick 53, they got it down. They got it done. <laughs> they got yeah. it down and, and got it down yeah. from pick 56. And, and <laughs> quite amazing the travails of the last two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was off on the, on the back of three, three sele in selections. The 50s. In the 50s. Yeah. We're not talking seven no. to four. No. <laughs> All right, here's the drum roll, guys. Yep. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Actually, give me a minute. All right. Yeah, no. Cow's cooking up something big. So lots happening. There is one minute 35 to go, Damo. So if you're not ready, you're probably going to miss out here. So yeah, if your name hasn't been spoken about at this stage, you're, you're in a bit of trouble. And the queue thought. to the AFL door is, uh, is going to be the key to that one. So we might just try and take a, a look at that particular camera if we can uh, mm. ask that of our operators the, and camera people at this uh, out, short moment. Yeah. That, they all left out, though. The so AFL's that's it. Room is yeah, empty okay. out, so. I may have missed that. I was, I was uh, checking a text. So, yeah. Cal's still working on the what he's told us is a drum roll, and he will bring it to us. But as always, he's just dotting the I and crossing right. the T. Who backed the the Eagles picking the Hawks pick or or the Carlton pick? Oh, I said they'd pick Carlton. I said they'd pick Hawthorne. They picked the Hawks. There you go. So the deal <laughs> is uh, Hawthorne's future first, future yep. second, and future third, and they got back West Coast's pick number four for next year as well. Fourth, As in their fourth, fourth round, round pick, fourth fourth round, round yeah. pick for next year. Well, yeah. okay, I will argue, and I started saying this yesterday, Cal. I would argue the Eagles have won, have come out of winners of this. I know it looked really bleak for them it when the Hawks decided finish, to, though, doesn't it? It, well, it, does, it really does. If when they finish low, if they finish last or second last, they're massive winners yes. out of what's happened, and a lot of it was forced on them. I get that. 
but they're now in prime position to get Chad Warner if he wants to exercise his rights as, a, as an out-of-contract yeah, player. Know. That's next year's story. There's no need to go forward 12 months right now because we've still got a, a bit of drama to, uh, to wrap up and, and get a finalisation on before the official close. We've still got seconds left on this trade period and anything could happen here. We'll see Marty Pask there Five talking... Seconds. Right. To uh, North Melbourne, Cal. It's all over. Yeah. The clock has yep. run down. The clock is out. It's done. Yep. The clock is out. So of those 10 names that we had going into the, the final 30 minutes, Cal, I'll just get you to, if you can, although you are checking a text, I'll try and get you to cross-reference yep. it with me, uh, uh, Volcano. Uh, Bailey Smith uh, got done. Tom Barris got done. Jake Stringer got done. Luke Parker got done. We believe Jack McRae has also been done yep, as part of that flurry of activity. Caleb Daniel, we believe, is, has been uh, executed by way of and that there's contract. there's just one more demo. Luke Parker and Jacob Costanti are North Melbourne players. Yep. So Costanti as well as the other one we probably had yep, mentioned. Yep, Cal did yet. mention that. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, Matt Kennedy, did we catch up? Have we caught up with what's going on there? And I don't know if you've got any brains in the wit band with you, Cal, as you're checking your text. But Matt Kennedy was one of the 10 going into the final half hour. Brody Camp was another of the 10. James Peatling, we give a tick to. And Xavier O'Halloran, you told us uh, some time ago, would, would likely now stay at the uh, the Giants on the back of the the, uh, the toing and froing of other clubs, not leaving enough time. So seven of those ten that we've got ticks against that entered the final 30 minutes of 2024 trade period yep. uh, managed to find new homes in the space of that 30 minutes. It was dramatic, and Bailey Smith was the, the one who was holding up pretty much all of those deals in one way or another. And Brody Camp, Pierre didn't get done in he the end. Get done. It was a late, yeah. a late push.